Hi, it's Dwyer. It's April the 15th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. News has recently broken that New Jer Brooklyn Nets forward LaMarcus Ulrich has announced his retirement. Apparently, LaMarcus had some heart arrhythmia problems, and he's decided at 35 after a very prosperous career, right, very financially rewarding career, that he's going to step away from the sport. Let's talk about how that impacts our betting strategy. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now look, let's be real here. This is going to have a huge impact. I still think the Brooklyn Nets win the Eastern Conference, right? But, and there's a big but, I believe you need to hedge a little bit here, right? In my opinion, there are only two other teams with a shot to win the Eastern Conference. The Philadelphia 76ers and the Milwaukee Bucks, right? Those are the only three teams I see with a shot to win the East, just keeping it real. Now, with Brooklyn having a problem getting guys on the court, right? It, it's dangerous to bet on Brooklyn Net games because you don't know whether KD is going to be playing, James Harden's been out recently, whether Kyrie Irving's going to take the night off. You just don't know. They have a lot of talent. The talent hasn't played a lot together. Well, now you have Ulrich, who really was an important piece, given the fact that the Nets need depth at the forward position in terms of getting rebounds, boxing out, etc. KD's really more of a perimeter shooter these days than he is a low post threat. So you're losing, really, a player I know who just got there, but who was going to play a major role, especially if you're going up against Giannis and the Bucks deep in the playoffs, right? Or Embiid and the 76ers deep in the playoffs. Let's face it. The Nets will need help down low, right? DeAndre Jordan is a little bit older now. He's not who he used to be. Well, this loss of Allridge to me requires you to put some money. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. This is offered for entertainment purposes only. You need to throw some money at the Bucks, hedge money, and you need to throw some money at the Nets. The casino is giving you great odds. Understand, right now to win it all, the Brooklyn Nets are a plus 250. Folks, they're the favorites to win it all in the entire league. Right? They're a plus 250. Understand, to win it all, you're getting multiples of that by putting money on the Bucks and the Sixers. Right? If Allridge was healthy, I would say, hey, keep things as they are. Let it roll. Well, Allridge is retired. He's not coming back. You're getting the Bucks here at a plus 750. You're getting the Sixers here at a plus 1200. With all due respect to everyone else in the East, I don't think they're worth betting on. I think you have to shore up the hole that's created by Allridge's retirement in your Eastern Conference picks. Right? I believe this is a huge loss for the Brooklyn Nets. I still think they win. But again, that thought has a lot of assumptions. I'm expecting James Harden to come back and to still be James Harden. Right? If he has a hamstring problem, understand, that could reappear. Right? I'm expecting KD to be able to play every game in the playoffs. Not the first game, then the third game, then the fifth game. Right? I'm expecting, and there's a lot happening in America. Right? A lot happening in America. Police shootings and stuff like that. 
I'm expecting Kyrie Irving to be able to, whatever happens, play every game and be Kyrie Irving. I'm expecting Joe Harris to continue to hit threes at a greater than 45% clip. Right? But understand, they're more vulnerable now than they were before Orridge's retirement. This retirement is going to force me to throw a little at 12 to 1 on the 76ers to win it all. Embiid's back, folks. He's playing at an MVP level. I'd give Joker the MVP, but let's face it. Embiid, but for Joker, would be the MVP. Let me also briefly summarize my views on the Western Conference. You got to be kidding me. A 36-year-old has suffered his second debilitating injury in the last three years. And we're just assuming LeBron James comes back and is LeBron James. Also, Anthony Davis has been out for weeks with an Achilles problem after signing a long-term contract with the Lakers. Right? And of course, Las Vegas seems to assume that he's not going to be placed on a minutes restriction. Has anyone figured out that two teams with the best records in the league reside in the Western Conference. Folks, look at Utah's record. Somebody explain to me how they're going off at a plus 700 to win it all. Look at Phoenix's record. This is even more preposterous. And yet Phoenix is a 14 to 1 long shot to win it all. I think in the Western Conference, I think you need to have positions in your betting portfolio on Phoenix and Utah. Don't assume the Lakers waltz through the Western Conference, right? Also, everyone's concerned that the Nets haven't played a lot together, right? When's the last time LeBron's been on a court with AD? When have the two of them been on a court together with Drummond, right? So prepare to be shocked in the NBA playoffs. I think the most talented team are the Brooklyn Nets, but I think, unlike what Vegas is doing, in terms of listing the teams based on odds, I think you need to realize, hey, there's that Phoenix at 14 to 1 with this record. Utah at 7 to 1 with the top seed. They're two games ahead of Phoenix with the top seed and that home record. And I'm getting 7 to 1. No need to put a bow on the package. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Because of Allridge's injury in the East, just in summarizing, I think now's the time to get the odds on the Bucks it's plus 750, folks. Sooner or later, gamblers will wake up and realize, my goodness. <laughs> Plus 750 on the Bucks, plus 1200 on the Philadelphia 76ers. Right? Ben Simmons has a lot of problems. Playing defense is not one of them. In terms of just straight talent, I'm not saying the guys delivered on this talent, but just in terms of talent, the ability to do things like hit three pointers, which is unusual for his position. Right? Dominate the boards on occasion. The foot movement. The back-to-the-basket skills on his offensive repertoire. It's hard to find a better player in this league, talent-wise, than Joel Embiid. Right? I think because of Allridge's injury, you can't be as sure of the Brooklyn Nets as you once were. You need to buy insurance. You need the hedge on the Bucks and on the Sixers. With all due respect to the Celtics and all these other teams, I'm spending no money on them. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.